Hello, Falcons. Welcome to CV if you're a ninth grader, and welcome back uh, if you are a 10th, 11th, or a senior this year. I am Mr. Saul, and I teach math at CV normally, and I'm also the tech coordinator. So I, I know you're anxious about how to get to your Google Classroom because we are remote learning, and I know we would love to see you in person, but this is what we have, okay? So um, I'm in my RV in the backyard of my house doing this recording, and I have with me on a Zoom call one of my techs, Joey. So he's going to walk through some of the things that you will go through on the first day of school on August the 19th, Wednesday, okay? So um, hopefully... If we work um, hard enough, we're gonna get all the teachers all lined up, prepared, so that they send you an invitation to Google Classroom. So, um, but um, we'll teach you how to log into everything right now. So, Joey, um, let's go ahead and share your screen, please. So, pretend you're Joey, and uh, before the first day of school, you should do this and uh, the first thing you should do is um, we're going to log into a what's called clever and go ahead joey type in clever.com in the new okay clever.com all right little tech and on the upper right it says login as a student so go ahead and click on that login as a student and you will see this um now it's because we typed in clever.com, they don't know who you are. So we can pretty much go ahead and type in Crescenta Valley High School, Joey. And if you've already logged into Clever, uh, you won't need to do this. So go ahead and select that. And you see on the top, it says Glendale Unified School District. Okay. And your your email account, your GUSD email account, is what you are going to use to log into Clever. And we'll show you why we need to do this first, okay? So, Joey, go ahead and click in, click on Login, and then go ahead and type in your, um, your student email address. Hang on one second, okay, Joey? So, if you don't know the schematics, it's the first letter of your first name and then the first three letters of your last name and then the last four digit of your ID number and then it already has the rest of your email address at stew.gusd.net okay good Joey go ahead and uh, click next so we're gonna log in and you should know your password. If you don't, we'll show you where you can go to reset it. Okay, so go ahead and click next. Now, Clever is gonna look like this once you log in. So Clever is kind of like a one-stop shop because once you log in with Clever, when you click on any of these, any of these icons, most of them you will have already logged into, so you don't need to log in again. It's, it's really nice. Now, this is me, I'm Mr. Saul, and I'm one of Joey's teachers. So, if, if he clicks on that, then he'll go to my page, which I don't have much uh, to start with this year, but he's got other classes there already. So, the most important thing on the first day is we're gonna go to Google Classroom. So, Joey, why don't you scroll down and find Google Classroom on on this list. You see where it says Google Classroom? So let's go ahead and click on Google Classroom. And the nice thing about it is once, once you have logged into Clever, it logs into all of your Google accounts, including your email. So now I have, Joey's going to be in my class. So I sent him an invitation in Google Classroom, which hopefully we're hoping all of your teachers will be able to do that, okay? So they're gonna send it to you before the first day of school. And when you have this on the upper left over here, you see my, he's in my tech team, 
and all you need to do is click join. So, so you go ahead and click join. So when you join it, it will accept, you will be automatically enrolled in there, okay? So he is joining the classroom and uh, automatically it will go in and uh, you're in this classroom. So he's in my tech class now and your teacher will have some instruction about um, how we're going to go about meeting and the platform we're going to use you normally would be zoom so they will post a zoom um, information on the on the on the stream so the stream is right here and all you have to do is click on that link on the first day of school to join um, to join that um, classroom. Now, Joey's already in my Zoom session, so he's not going to click on that. But um, so, Joey, we're gonna we're gonna pop back out, so you can stop sharing the screen, so that we can go to Zoom now. So, your classroom is going to look something like this. If you're not familiar with Zoom, um, this is me. And please make sure that you have your first name and your last name. And on the first day of school, if your teacher does not know you, please have your legal name, first name and last name. And then you can change it on the profile later once you're once uh, you have informed your teacher. OK, and um, in the beginning, you will be put into a waiting room. This is for security reasons. You just wait there until your teacher invites you in. OK. And um, if you take a look at this screen, you've got your audio video here and you can share your screen if you're allowed to, okay? And um, your reactions are important. So if the teacher asks a question, you can have a thumbs up or, or if you like something, I guess this is a high five, okay? So I'm gonna exit out of full screen. So we've covered Clever, logging into Clever. We went into Google Classroom. So now you can join the classroom in a meeting through Zoom, which we're gonna do, we just did right now. So the next thing we're gonna do is, Joey, go ahead and share your screen and we are going to um, open up a new tab. And you are probably interested in keeping track of your grades and your assignments and things like that. So you're gonna type in, uh, uh, student.gusc.net Joey yeah okay and when you do that you're gonna come into a student connect page and uh, you should have this if uh, even a middle school it's the same it hasn't changed so this is where you would go to look at your um, grades and to keep up with uh, what your assignments are Joey, do you remember your login? If you do, go ahead and log in real quickly, just so that we can see. All right, so it looks like this. And uh, yeah, go ahead and click on that and you got your contacts and things like that. So this is where you, you would be able to check your grades, okay? Now, the last thing I wanna cover is, um, go our CVHS has a website so Joey let's open up a new go to gusd.net and forward slash CVHS and there's a lot of great information on here um, so the first thing we're gonna do is go down if you have any technical difficulties just like Joey's on the CV tech team, he and his other techs will be able to help you. And this is where you would come here to submit um, a request for help, okay? So if you, if you uh, click on that, you can fill out the form and uh, CV, uh, someone from the CV tech team will contact you or myself, okay? So we'll, we're here to help you. And we're gonna get you through all of this. 
the next important thing on this, uh, you can browse through yourself, but the next important thing is if you want to contact your teachers and you don't know their uh, email address, well, it is usually, it, it is the first initial of their first name and then their last name at GUSC.net, okay? But if you can't remember that, on the upper right of this web page, go click on contact and then we can go teacher by, let's go by department, Joey. Click on teacher by department. And then, so since I, if you remember, I'm a math teacher. So if I go to my math and there I am. Okay, so if you need to uh, email me or contact me, that's how you would do that. Okay, so Joey, let's uh, go ahead and uh, stop sharing and then we'll go back to the Oh, there's my page, okay? All right, so we've covered how to get to Clever, okay? And how to get to Google Classroom. And then ho hopefully in Google Classroom, you'll have information to join your uh, your first class with the with through Zoom, okay? Um, I would suggest uh, the last thing is uh, if you don't have Zoom, download it on your laptop if you're using one or a desktop it's better to run the program through that so go to um so you're real quickly can you share your screen again and um i i can walk through so let's open uh let's go to zoom.com thank you and then on the upper right click on resource okay see we don't need to click on that that download zoom client is what you need and it's a lot better to run it through that okay now you could your option is let's go back to clever joey go to clever and zoom is also on here okay so if you scroll down zoom is all the way down on the bottom left over here okay zoom for students so you can join through there also. All right, Joey, go ahead and um, stop sharing. All right, hopefully you have learned something here and you can always play back this video or you can ask for help through the CVHS website. Again, I'm Mr. Saw, this, and uh, thank you, Joey, for your help. Um, we can get through this. This is gonna be an exciting year, okay? There are lots of exciting things we can do it do remotely also. Looking forward to meeting you someday. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.